I've been watching a lot of Germa, and I will say, this is a guy who I have actually not watched a lot of his content, but I think we have similar predilections, okay? Similar things driving us. This is clearly a guy who has a inherent drive to innovate and to create novel moments, okay? I think that I could probably learn a lot of lessons from watching Germa because I, am I, you know, I'd like to think, even though I know I'm like a low-key streamer or whatever, um, I'm not a streamer, I'm a YouTuber who streams, but even though I'm a little low-key, I'd like to think I have a lot of funny moments under my belt that are, you know, just like, not known or whatever you guys know because you're you know people who watch my stream right and if you're not joining the discord or else I'll you, but um i watched this video essay by ruby squigglehead which is okay. such a funny cute Confession name time. um called the greatest streamer of all time and this i believe is the only video on this woman's channel it is and that's crazy to me um she's basically like a germa stan and she made a video uh talking about why basically she thinks that germ is the best streamer of all time and it's from what i can tell her first video and it's a really good video for a first video and it did really well like that's a lot of views for your first video um but she might have been underselling like there's there's i feel like there's more to germa than what she was saying but um she captured the, a lot of like the the true like beauty of germa for me you know as a noob to germa she outlined a lot of situations that really like kind of uh illuminate why germa is so beloved and the, one of the biggest things that really kind of struck a chord in my brain was that germa even when he became popular as hell right like he has like a big following or whatever he still does like incredibly nuanced fan or viewer interaction okay he basically um will turn people into like characters like you know what i mean like um recurring characters and so there's a famous case of a guy called his username is like and he made such an outrageous comment once that um germa basically turned him into like a channel meme and i think that a lot of you guys watching this especially you guys in the chat on screen like in little miscreants. Um, to me, you guys are little funny little characters too because all I see of you is like text on a screen. And that's awesome because that allows me to squeeze you verbally, physically, mentally and not feel bad about it because I'm not like, you know, harassing an individual. I'm just shitting on Kate or Lamp. Gokunaru is a fictional character. Brayden, I am going to hunt you down and squeeze kill you. Did I stutter? <laughs> he hating on me and sending his roommate to debate me. That's facts. Kate literally went from just a casual viewer who was in my chat to me literally saying, Kate, get in a call right now, and you're going to debate on whether attachment theory is bullshit. So, I like that, okay? Even when I was a young lad. Anyway, this is too much about me, but I, let's, let's watch. And then I'll talk more about myself, okay? Let's watch. Jerma is known for doing really well-produced, high-quality event streams. Just last year, he did a baseball stream, where two teams, each composed of a mix of professional athletes and professional clowns, played a full game of baseball. Jerma was the empire. It was hilarious. But in the months leading up to the stream, he kept those details private. So naturally, people would ask questions about the baseball stream and chat. This is the story of someone who answered one of those questions. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to encourage this behavior, but I'm going to tell you something right now. Don't fucking, this is not to be encouraged, but it was just like, what the fuck, man? Uh, somebody asked what the baseball stream is. And I said, whatever. And then like, it's been like five minutes. It's been like at least five minutes. Somebody like added that person, I think, and said he's going to shove an entire baseball up his ass on stream. <laughs> This person's name, too! Yeah! What the fuck? Their name was... Okay? Okay? Do you want me to tell you more? Because, like, I could tell you more! You guys have no idea 
I said it yesterday, it's rent free. Every day I think about somebody just typing out, oh, oh yeah, dude, let me help you out here. Oh, you're like a new viewer? Yeah, let me help you. He's gonna shove a whole baseball up his ass. That's the baseball stream. There's so much, there's so many layers to why that's funny. So many. I keep hyping it up, man, on the baseball stream, man, be ready. And it's gonna be me putting a baseball in my ass? <laughs> Off longer, it's been a week and a half. Play Skyrim, Ego Andy. Holy shit, nice wiener, bro. He's fully naked, by the way. He's naked. Camera or naked. Stand up. Skyrim. Play Skyrim. I will never back down. Sorry, this is him reading uh, his chat history. Well, I gotta tell you, that last statement there, that shows perseverance. That shows... That shows that you, that you, you, you can, you can, you're taking life by the reins, you know what I mean? So you're okay for now. Uh, you get it okay the video again it's um her first video so it's like a little bit like the editing's a bit you know loose whatever um but yeah she did a good job of outlining the moments i think and this i think is the most interesting um like the the best feature of german streams is like the inside jokes with chat right it basically elevates the shit from like oh mass appeal just guy talking about random stuff or guy you know just trying to be, you know, just funny in the moment or whatever, uh, to a guy who's like actually creating like in jokes with the community, you know what I mean? And so, yeah, Ballfunder got banned, and then Germa personally basically like, you know, pardoned him or something because it was just funny effectively. And so, yeah, I have tried to. This is the reason why I was bringing this back to myself because number one, because I'm a narcissist, but number two, throughout my time on YouTube, I have done. A very similar thing at a much smaller scale and uh, kind of to a failed level. But I have a series on my channel called No Stupid Questions. Okay, you might be familiar with it. And there was about a four or five year period where No Stupid Questions, like I didn't grow, my channel didn't grow at all. And I would get the same people providing me questions. So literally, um, people would be characters, like Commenters would become characters, recurring characters on my fucking No Stupid Questions series. Uh, and there was a specific fucking video, The Evil Army. Okay, The Evil Army has begun. Ten years ago, oh my god, I'm old. Um, I'm not though, I'm young, I have a lot of potential. We're gonna realize it anyway. Stupid questions, once again. Uh, so yeah, this episode's a little bit late because of reasons that, um... Wow. You know what, I was gonna get into them, but basically... I tried to make a video and the files kept getting corrupted, much like... Uh Holy moly, ravioli. What a young, young little fella. So, here we go. This is the part that I just wanted to... It was just an example. I had the same people commenting every fucking episode of No Stupid Questions. I really did have a tight community. The thing is, is that they were kids, degenerates, and it was tiny. Okay, that was the third thing I was going to say. It was a very tiny community. <laughs> there was, they were kind of degen and they were kids, okay? I was a kid too, so it was like a weird space. This question comes from Drew Glacia, and he asks, Whoa, stuff is about to go down. Wait, what? What's, what stuff? We're, we're encountering the evil army. So there was Drew Iglesia, who was my number one fan and my boy. Drew Iglesia was my boy. Um, there's many videos featuring him, like literally just a fan that would help me and do a lot of stuff. Um, OMG, this is getting out of hand. You started this. Holy crap, they're growing faster. What is this? Oh my, oh my god. What the hell? Oh my, are you serious? Oh, 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 oh my god, are you serious? No, though. No. Oh. I can't handle it, bro. Okay, long story short. The Evil Army was a weird time on my channel where all the regular characters of No Super Questions had new accounts made about them that was just like demonic versions of them. Uh, very, very weird. Oh, I just cut- Oh, what the f- I just cut myself on these goddamn chairs. Oh, there's a screw sticking out of the chair. Okay, no, I'm ending the episode before something bad happens like it always does. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to like, favorite, possibly subscribe, and until next time, peace out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm trying to end this as fast as I can before. <laughs> <laughs>
so yeah i was a 13 year old or whatever age i was i don't know uh that was his attempt at um doing like an inside joke you've come a long way yeah <laughs> anyway so yes ruby squigglehead i watched her video i, I do want to watch some germa moments real quick germa funny moments because like i said i really don't because germa here's the, th here's the fascinating thing about germa i don't think he actually has a youtube channel that he uploads to i think he really just makes his streams let's watch What's popping gamer? Okay, all right. I don't know what it is. I'm not, I'm just, these might not be funny. I'm maybe just not in the laughing mood, but okay. Aside from his community interaction, the biggest thing with Jerma that I, you know, makes me think he's like a fucking truly interesting person to for me to potentially study is his live events okay obviously there's the dollhouse that he did um which is awesome awesome i want more of that i want more people fucking around because i've said this many times okay this is my philosophy on streaming because so little is expected when people are streaming and the bar really is low okay the most popular twitch streamers are not the most innovative people or whatever not even the most interesting people really uh in fact they're often the biggest twitch streamers or whatever because they kind of have no life you know like they spend 12 plus hours a day streaming right they are on the grind um and that obviously leads to kind of a lot of shit content a lot of the times even though they're you know whatever very wealthy you know could potentially innovate to do whatever they end up kind of just like reacting to videos for hours on end each day um and just kind of participating in drama whatever and uh yeah i'm not against drama I'm not against all this stuff but like you know my view right is because people expect so little from live streamers right because when people say, like, when you tell someone, like, I'm a live streamer, in their head, they just think, like, oh, you just fucking, you just stim out to, like, Fortnite or something. You just, like, stream Fortnite. You're just not creative. You know what I mean? You're not unique, whatever. Because the bar is so low, I think that live streaming actually has the most potential to subvert expectations, to be innovative. And Germa is a guy who exposes that. And I love it. Okay? I want to see more of it. There is nothing cooler to me than being on a live stream and experiencing a novel event live being there being in the chat i don't know you guys for those of you who have been on my stream when you know something something uh, a little spooky has happened i think you understand what i am saying right when an event occurs that is a deviation from the norm how much more magical does it feel when it's live versus if it was in a video? You know what I mean? And so, yes, Jerma is a guy that, in my brain, needs to be paid attention to because he's on the right track in terms of my personal ambitions. <laughs>